Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Cool 87 but you can call me Sam, and today is episode 6. And uh, I have heard uh, a bit of word around that Golden is, um, Golden Gigabyte, you know, the leader of the goons, is, uh, he's coming for me. And, uh, I think he's got the wrong idea. I'm coming for him. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> nah, but seriously, we need to go prepare. And, um, yeah, so, anyways, I have also just noticed a ring down there, which, uh, which I will get to, and, um, oh, and let's see, this ring here, uh, I do not know what this is, anyways. Let's uh let's go prepare. Uh I have gotten some suggestions on what to prepare for uh from some of the the defenders of the sacred trident people. So and at the raid farm, that's just a regular one. But I've got multi shot quick charge two. Another multi shot quick charge two is just to get quick charge three. Piercing three and unbreaking too i just had to settle for that um and then some of these rockets these things are deadly um anyway so i might go pop over to the raid farm really quick and see what i can find and uh then we're gonna head over to the enderman farm and enchant these crossbows and i need leather Come back here. There we go. Oh, yeah, I need leather and, uh, oh, wait a minute. Before we go do that, I'll show you why I need leather. I have, uh, down here in the throne room, I have done a little bit of something. And where did, oh, I lose this lever. Um, yeah, anyways, you might see that over there. If we go over there and uh, the specialty items, let's do them. Uh, see, this says Bower's Soul claimed by the Grim Reaper. So it says Bower's Soul. This soul is famed because it was taken by the Grim Reaper before he was known to be as such. It is said that if you put your ear up to the soul and listen, you can hear his mischievous thoughts. God forbid. No, let's not do that. <laughs> Then we got Remnant of the Icy Man. Now, I have not done this. Um, there was a guy on here. I'm not sure if he was on YouTube or not. I don't think he was, but he, um, his name was the Icy Gaming, and he left the server for about two years, and he left these at everyone's base. So I put a little bit of a story behind it. Is remnant of the icy man this piece of the icy man was found after the icy gaming was given a viking like funeral as his final send off to the server and it is believed he left a few pieces of himself as remembrance so what the viking like funeral was um silver duck one of his friends gave send him off in like a viking boat thing and then he logged off forever and uh this here, I kind of took off of Pinterest, and I'm not sure if it's copyrighted, so if this part is cut out, that's why. It says, Sword of the Dragon Queen. It says, Sword of the Dragon Queen. This sword is said to let the wielder change the element in which the sword deals its damage. It is also said this sword was once wielded by the famed Dragon Queen. She was known for killing a dragon single-handed, and then inherited its powers. Base idea, and I've got the link here. So, uh, if anybody wants to take a screenshot, uh, type it in real quick, anything, pause the video, I would suggest you go ahead and do that. Yeah. So, um, anyways, uh, yeah, this was actually a DD and d item, but I kind of took it. And, uh, just put a little, like, the, it was, its thing was you could change the element type that it dealt for damage. And I just put a little bit more story behind it. And then we got old Mr. Snuggle Whiskers here. Ain't seen him in a while. And a throne. I really wish I had the rest of it back. But 
I don't. Um, one other thing before I leave this clip. Um, over here is where the nether portal used to be. Asphic put it up there so we could get up onto the roof easily. And it says, uh, Cool's new cave home. I've just kind of moved in here, you know, respawn point and, uh, little armor stand magic. And, uh, yeah, maybe I can do something with this later. Like maybe make it where I can get down to the throne room by throwing an item or something. But, um, yeah, anyways, that is all I had to do. So let me go enchant some of these crossbows and then I shall return. All right, my dudes, I have uh, got the crossbow and found out it did no damage. I tested it out on the dragon with uh, Drolk the other day because I happened to get in the uh, get in the end and then he summoned a dragon and then I was trapped. So I helped him and it did not do a thing. But in any case, I come back to this. I see this pink cave and yes, it was fully pink and then I started changing it uh changing it back and then i was like oh dang i'm not recording so um yeah anyways i'm sorry about that frequent because uh i found out on his live stream that he did this uh along with vara so um yeah i'm sorry for changing his back too soon i will uh do need to change it back but uh i started doing it and then it was just like oh dang i'm not recording and then yeah that st stuff happened so um yeah in any case let me go ahead and change this back and i shall return all right so now that that's fixed i want to show you what goes into um um just finding one of these special one of those specialty items that's like in my throne room so uh yeah for this one we gotta get our pirate skin on army hearties now let me tell you a story one day you see that shipwreck right back there well that day is today we're gonna go search it um yeah i'll show you what goes into this i found a treasure map uh which I conveniently left into this chest, or I thought it was this chest. I found it. Maybe it was this chest. Yes. I found it and left it so I could find it on camera. And uh, we're going to follow it. Oh, and if you didn't see the uh, pirate skin, it's a uh, it's an eye patch. A uh, small addition, but a necessary one. Anyways, let's go and find this treasure. So I traced the map and it's somewhere over in this area. And the big red X uh, and a couple of shulker boxes. I'll take those. I don't know. Um, anyways, it's actually right close to the castle. Interesting. Anyways, get our totem. And we will go treasure hunting lads and mm, fresh red eggs now let's go this way my treasure senses are tingling Ooh, i think we might have just found our ticket ah we did Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, Sting of the Golden Scorpion. Interesting. All right, let's see what this says. Sting of the Golden Scorpion. This crossbow was said to have the poisonous sting of a scorpion no matter what kind of bolt was fired from it. There's also a legend that someday one person shall unlock its full potential being able to summon an abnormally large scorpion. And then the base idea, whoever wrote this, <clears throat> we don't know who wrote this. Anyways, uh, yes, yeah, so, I mean, not much goes into this. I mean, it kind of does. I mean, I sniffed out the treasure map. So, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, give me this here. I'll take a free chest if I can get it. 
And uh, with a full inventory, I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, dang, I don't know what to throw. There we go. Anyways, oh wait a minute, free redstone. What am I doing? We gotta get this free redstone. Certainly, 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 certainly. This definitely isn't a cool door. Definitely not. Um, yeah. So let me pack up this, and I shall be right back. Now that I have rounded up the loot, let's get out of here. And we should probably remove the red X so other treasure hunters as myself don't come here and get disappointed. So, ooh, down here. Do that like this, like that. We got to remove this X like this and that. And if I can get to the last one. Why could I get to it from the other side? I don't know why I'm way over here, but okay. Uh, see here? Yes, we can. Alright. Let's take this treasure back to our throne room. Alright, had to search through six shulker boxes just to find some leather and some sticks. But, in any case, I've already placed the book down, and there is the sting of the golden scorpion. And of course, if you want to check it out for yourself, it is a D&D &D item. So here is the link. If you want to copy it, uh, pause the video, type it in, do whatever. I don't think you can copy it, but uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, I would appreciate it if you check that out. Um, most of it, I uh, made the story about the abnormally large scorpion, which in my opinion would be like... When I say abnormally large, I mean large, like maybe 15 foot high or something. Um, and I also added the thing about the, uh, any bolt that's fired out of it would, uh, give off poison. But, uh, yeah, check out that link if you want to, uh, see for yourself if you like, uh, playing D&D. &D. So, um... Yeah, how did I, I always do this, how did I make, I end up with too many shulker boxes. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's get on doing something else. Alright, so I had an idea. So, if you remember, uh, back on United MC, if you were watching my channel then, or if you've watched that video, you'll know, you'll remember that I had the, uh, quartz thing as a um model for the wall well i think i might do something different because these specialty items has given me another idea what if these little ones here were for the items i can fit in item frames and these can be maybe um bigger representations of like where they were maybe like like remember how i made up the thing of you had the treasure map that led to the ravine then it went into the ravine pulled the lever and then this was in the chest in the cave where well, you could have maybe a treasure you could have like a a ship underwater and then have a treasure map in an item frame somewhere and then maybe have like a like a more fancy cave than what i had this in and put this in an item frame there. Um, I think that could be a potentially cool idea, but maybe not with those particular items. That was just an example. Um, well, it was a fly mode thing again. But uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. And I also had an idea of, you know how I keep making, um, just keep making throne rooms each uh server i go on to season whichever i think maybe each time i rebuild one i can there we go again but uh maybe i can make different um i really wish this would stop Boing.
So anyways, what I was saying was maybe like have it in different themes each year, like different stuff. Um, Because the season is a year on the server. Like, they still have the throne room, but do something different with it each time. Like, I think that could be cool. And something I can't ignore doing since I have the supplies. And just pop right on up here. Bang. Part of the throne. Rebuilt. Now I just need to get Askvig to replicate the iron part. Because I... Um, did not do that in the first place, and I do not know how to do that. So, uh, yeah, maybe I can ask him to replicate that for me. And with that new addition, I'm going to end the episode there. So I hope you liked it. If you did, please consider subscribing. And, um, I will see you in, in... In the throne, if I can get there. <laughs> Dang throne! Give me my throne. Give me, give throne there. I hate doing stuff in F five. Uh, there we go. There we go. Anyways, as I was saying, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and uh, if you're new, please consider subscribing. And uh, I will see you in the next episode.